Hey everybody! I'm so glad to see you. I'm Michael and I keep on providing you with practical data solutions. External hard drives, we've talked about them so many times and you can check some of the other videos. Well, always one of the most frequently asked questions is about how to format an external hard drive. No matter whether it is new or a second-hand device, people usually ask about that. So, how to format an external drive on Windows or Mac OS, here we go. Before we dive into the technical part, let me remind you that you can win a $50 Amazon card and everything you have to do is to leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. So, external hard drives are storage devices that we use for backing up information or easily and portably moving around files, music, videos and other stuff. There are some situations which sometimes make us format these external hard drives. For example, if we buy a brand new external drive or if we switch to a different operating system, let's say you have a Windows PC and you decide to buy a MacBook, or you simply want to come clean and use it for a different purpose, for example, for backups. The first thing you do after you buy an external hard drive, after unboxing it, I guess, is to attach it to your computer and very often it asks you to format it. Well, sometimes some of these new drives are pre-formatted for you, but very often people buy second-hand devices and getting a quick format at least is a good option. Sometimes, if you need to make sure that the old data is totally gone, you might want to reformat the drive, or you want to use the external hard drive on multiple operating systems, or just change the file system just for fun. In short, it's always a good idea to know how to format your external drive. But before checking how it works in reality, we gotta do some theory and study which are the most common file systems on Windows, Linux and Mac OS nowadays. NTFS, New Technology File System, it's the most commonly used for Windows PCs and most of the hard drives are pre-formatted for these file systems. Mac OS and Linux can only read files stored on NTFS formatted drives, but they cannot write to that. So if you use Windows, you should select NTFS. We continue with HFS Plus, which serves as the primary operating system on Mac OS and is also known as Mac OS Extended and is developed by Apple. An external hard drive formatted to HFS Plus cannot be used on a Windows computer without additional software. So if you want to use your external drive on your Mac OS primarily and make these Windows guys struggle reading it, then HFS Plus is your choice. Uh, FAT32. Well, we are 2019, really? Well, FAT32, it's a pretty old file system which is commonly and well recognized by most of the operating systems. It is still well supported by Windows and Macs and is still useful for nearly every kind of files, but its main disadvantage is that you can't store files which are larger than 4 gigabytes, so recording in 4K doesn't really work good on FAT32. The last really interesting one is called XFAT or Extended File System and it is similar to FAT32 but a better option because it supports more features and works on both Mac OS and Windows and has no limitations on the file sizes. Therefore, this is the preferred choice for different cameras and other devices that support external micro SD cards and respectively external hard drives. Now that we've figured all the differences between these file systems, make a choice from one of these four and let's go ahead and format an external hard drive into one of these. Before that, make sure to back up all the movies, music, important text files, pictures and everything you might have stored in your external drive. And maybe just in case, download a copy of Recover It software. First, let's have a look at how we can format these buddies under Windows 10. Plug the external hard drive in and wait for the Windows Explorer to automatically open it or just go to Windows Explorer by clicking on the computer section on the sidebar and you're going to see the external drive getting attached to your system. Right-click on the icon of your hard drive and choose the Format option. 
opt for any of the file systems that you want to use for the operating system and give your drive a name under volume label and make sure that you select the quick format otherwise if the drive is big you're gonna wait like a lot click on the start button to initiate the formatting process and after a few seconds the formatting process would be completed as soon as it's done by default, your external drive is automatically opened in Windows Explorer. It's really nice and simple. Well, let's do the same thing on macOS. Plug the external hard drive in and open the Finder. Go to Applications, Utilities, double click on the Disk Utility. Select the external hard drive in the left handed sidebar and click on the Erase tab. Give your drive a name and select the file system that you want to use from the Format drop down. Then click the Erase button and the external hard drive will be formatted. Now you know this is the easiest way to format an external hard drive and now you have the knowledge how to do that on Windows and Mac OS and fairly simple. Make a backup, choose the preferred file system and go for it. Well, if you have forgotten to make a backup there always is a way back using the Recover It recovery software. Well, that's been everything about this episode and I sincerely hope that it was very useful. If that's so, give us a like and don't forget that you can still win a $50 Amazon shopping cart. Ah, such a great thing. The only have to do is to leave a comment and be subscribed to the channel. I'm Michael and I'll see you in the next episode.